respond, you were going to get beat. This is a nice throw by Jake Garcia. Put it right there. Morris to make good decisions. Play action. Morris has three men going deep. He's chased. He loses a man. Has a man short. Wants to go deep. Wide open. Safety, 7-2. Later in the second, Kaya finds Stacy Coley over the middle. No one can catch him. Coming in his face and gets it out on time. Always able to keep his balance, and then it's just a foot race to the end zone. What a play. Full throw. Looking for Knighton out of the backfield. He's got it, and he's gone. Hi, right, Canes family. Welcome back to another film review. We got center Connor Liu, 6'4", 285 out of Georgia. Uh, I do want to say it might not be as long as usual or it might not, you know, be my usual setup. I am, you know, quarantining right now, so doing some COVID stuff. So I apologize, y'all boys. I got y'all back next time. But uh, let's get straight into it. We got a, a dog at center who I think is going to, you know, I love the fact that he's going to compete with Tripp uh, to be that center of the future. Because um, we really don't have anybody really lined up behind Jakai, at least that I know about. So let's get straight into it. He's going to be, you know, closer to the right hash. Immediate dog. This one technique is getting driven all the way to the other hash. And he's not done yet, bro. He's going to pancake this man in the end zone. That is serious drive right there. His leg has never stopped moving. Power, dog. This man literally just got driven like 30 yards just to get pancaked in the end zone so you obviously know physicality is something the whole roster is going to have but especially at o-line you're not you're not surviving you know this a camp with mario and coach mirabal and coach pata and coach bain uh if you don't bring that physicality it's just not going to happen and again you have this one tech here lined up out of there you know he's going to be driving 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 pancake around the numbers so this guy's a people mover and at center you know you really don't really have that much people movers you know you have your your head honchos that call out protections and make sure you have everything and you know they get help on double teams but this could be a game changer having a center that uh you know is able to move people on his own and you know get maybe you know not need help on tag blocks and things like that but um i'm loving this man loving how you know hearing about Tripp helping him recruit him, but I'm super happy about Connor Lou and just raising the competition and raising the talent level of the offensive line. All right, Kane's family. So here we got him at center again, obviously. Uh, zero tech ahead of him. It's an RPO. So you really don't want to go past three to five yards. I know, you know, refs don't call it much, but that is an illegal man downfield. So it's pretty impressive when you could pancake a guy within, you know, you have no idea whether, you know, within that four yards, three yards, whatever it is at high school. I'm, I'm not sure what it is at high school now, but I'm pretty sure it's within three to five. Um, but when you were able to pancake a guy within that, that's pretty impressive. But you never know if this is a run or, you know, or a pass. The quarterback's pulling it. You have no idea what's going on behind you. Uh, so just, again, physicality, a people mover at center, you know, it could be a huge piece of us going forward. Um, but, again, you never know if it's going to be a pass or a run on the RPO. So if you want to bully this zero tech within five yards and pancake him, by all means, family, go ahead, fam. All right, Kane's family. So here again, Connor's going to get this one tech out. He's tapping his guard and making sure he's ready. Again, leader of the offensive line. That's what a center is. So his guard's supposed to pull and get that linebacker. Uh, it doesn't happen. And uh, so that's why it doesn't work. But you'll notice Connor's did his job. I can't, I'm sorry, Kane's family. I hate to shortchange you guys with the temporary COVID setup. I'm not able to put the cursor on. Uh, but again, that's Connor Lou driving from center to the uh, for one technique. Dude's all the way at the numbers. Uh, so again, a people mover at center. Those guys are rare. Don't mind the rating, Canes fam. In interior linemen never get that big of a bump or a rating. Remember Ryan Rodriguez, best center in the country. Uh, that uh <clears throat> probably should have been rated a little higher. So don't don't trip about the uh, rating, Canes fam. Just people mover, head honcho of the offensive line. I see a lot of good things in his future. All right, Kane's family. So <clears throat> this offensive play is going to be, you know, a fake jet mo. You know, go ahead and read by the quarterback and pull it. You're going to get everybody flowing right. You see the running back in that tight end go. The defensive line shifts down, which is going to actually help the offense here. See everybody's flowing this way, flowing this way, flowing this way. 
All right, let's see our boy who makes that hole. Center Connor Lou right here. He's going to go ahead and pull around this for, you know, when it's a called a hinge block, I believe, when they're covering vacated, when they're blocking on vacated space by a puller and stuff like that. Uh, so you see Connor Lou right here. He's wrapping around his guard who's coming inside, and he's going to block this D end uh, that's actually going to open up that hole in the size of Texas, my old coach Dave would say. Well, again, I apologize. I don't have the, uh, the cursor. Uh, but you'll see the center right here wrap around and gets that defense in. And uh, again, then again, there's that hole opens up the side of Texas. That's a shot play. And the defense, you know, they didn't have the proper alignment. Canes fans know about that the last couple of years. Um, but then, <laughs> but oh man, it doesn't matter. We that's just a great block here by Connor. All right, Kane's family. So just a little inside zone here. They're going to be pulling this uh, guard and getting that tackle to close down. You got Connor Lou here at center. He's just gonna <clears throat> he's gonna go ahead and meet that linebacker straight up. Drop, just literally just drop him. But what I like about it is after he's done with his assignment, turns around and now he's running upfield trying to help his teammate get to the end zone. Uh, you can't teach want, you can't teach hunger. So yeah, he just bodied that guy. There's a lot of guys who could body people, but um, just him turning around and uh, going and chasing that run down, finishing the play, uh, says a lot about his character. And here you got, he's over here, he has a, uh, <clears throat> a DT in the two gap. He's just over here, like shoulder width, right in between him and his guard. He's going to excellently here put his shoulder on him, help his guard out, and then he's getting up to not even just the second level, but third level technically because he's going after the safety. And he's going to move this guy out the way. I know the quarterback pulls it, which isn't a bad read because he's reading that defensive end. Uh, and he comes crashing in with no regard for the outside. So when he pulls it, you know, he's able to get around him. Uh, but doesn't it take away from the fact that he handled his business, got up to that uh, D tackle, then got up to the safety. If that running back did get the ball, you could see, you know, there was a hole there for him uh, if he would have got past that DN, but I'd love to see it. All right, Kane's family. So uh, we'll be wrapping up the uh, the Connor Lou film review, even though I will be getting back to him uh, probably his senior year. I don't even mean a short change, my dog, but uh, we'll go ahead and show some pass pro. I know this quarterback gets sacked, but just keep in mind that's because of horrible pocket presence. You have a zero tech right in front of him at center, and he's blocking him longer than a Marvel movie. So seeing him in uh, pass pro just – anchor down and being able to block uh you know d line right in front of him so he's showing that ability but yeah man this is just horrible <laughs> horrible part uh, pocket presence here uh going on but uh again just love to see him stand in his ground have that foot have that anchor um we'll definitely get more into him with the senior tape start circulating and i'll revisit some of these guys that i've done to update and see how they've grown over their senior year but we're just going to go ahead and wrap that up, man. I hope everybody's staying safe out there and just go Canes. There you go.